Hello and welcome to Stir Crazy Art Class with Gerald Savine, lesson number 66. We're going to continue the painting that we started of the flowers. What I've done is, and I hope you've also done this, is to finish off doing the petals. And what I've also done to save time, I've painted the centre of this one here. And we're going to work on this one down here, and so you can see how to do it yourself. Okay, so um, we'll get right underway. I've already had some colours mixed up. Um, I, there's a, um, I've mixed some um, lemon yellow with the uh, spectrum uh, with um, cadmium red pale to give us an orangey colour, which will be a base. Can you see the lighter colouring there? And then I've been mixing um, the spectrum red pale with alizarin crimson to give it the richest, richer red colours in there. We have a little bit of green in the centre, uh, and then I mixed up some. Uh, burnt umber, uh, ultramarine blue and a little bit of green for the dark pieces that are in here. Um, this is not as uniform beautifully as nature has made them on the original picture. But we're going to work on this area first. By the way, I hope you have been able to do this. Um, if you've been looking at the original picture, you can see I've obviously taken away the petals that were on the over this one, but using one's imagination. But uh, anyway, so I'm going to press on now, and I'm just going to put a little bit of green in the centre. A little bit of yellow to go in as well, just to come round here. And we'll be overlapping now again, see how I'm just sort of curving it round to follow the shape. And we're now going to go in, I'm going to use a slightly bigger brush, but it has got a good point on it. So this is a number eight brush. But it has actually got a good point, and I've already had some of the orangey colour, which is a base colour, mixed up. And again here, I'm going to put it on, and I'm going to take the brush strokes round. We just overlap the green a little bit. I'm just going round and round, following. Got the sort of slightly more yellow on the top surface, we're going to go around, bear in mind that we'll be putting the stronger reds on top. So we're going to paint over the whole of the um, seed head area, around the lovely little bee that we've got there, coming round, a little bit more water I think in this mix, coming round, working round, and then this will be about here, will be the sort of top area, and then we'll be going slightly darker um, around this part here, but we'll come to that in a minute. Now again here, going to be careful around the petals that overlap from the top flower. Again, just working around. So if you think going back to when we started, it's now into our 16th week doing paintings. And we started off with a lovely poppy, which has always seemed so popular, I'm pleased to say. Um, and in so in many, many respects what we're doing here is a bit of a follow-on from, from doing that. There's slightly more uh, detail than before. Now I'm putting, again we're still using the orange, but I, I put a bit more red into this one with the yellow. Again here, the important thing is when you're mixing these colours, because the, the red is much stronger than the lemon yellow, Always mix a little bit of the red into the lemon yellow, not the other way around, because you can waste a lot of paint doing that, and you'll never get quite light enough. Um, but again, I'm going to come round here. Can you see? And we can just blend it round. Can you see how it just blends in? Because there's still, it's still damp. The original lot that we put down, original layer of paint. Now hopefully this will dry fairly quickly. Uh, let's put a bit slightly darker into there because a bit of a it goes down a little bit into this area. Just we'll dab a little bit of colour into that there. So see so again we just sort of emphasize the shaping that's going on. I'll make it slightly darker under here where the bee is as well. 
Okay, so that's got that underway. And wash the brush out. Now this is where we're going to have... Um, I'm going to now go in and mix up the spectrum... Oh, sorry, I keep saying spectrum, cadmium red pale and alizarin crimson. So we have this quite dark, quite rich. The, again, the reality is this isn't quite the same colour as is in the, in the photograph, the, um, uh, but it's, it's near enough um, to not be a problem um, because, again, you don't want to land up with dozens and dozens of different tubes of paint. The, if you, re again, recall the first one or two lessons we did, we did have there the list of colours that I suggest you get, and that does cover the most things. Now then, that's mixed me up a nice dark red. Now then, I don't want to use this brush to do that. I'm going to use this thinner brush here. It's a number four. Again, it's um, not too bad. And then what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to pick up some of the red. Now, hopefully this is dried enough here. Now, if you look over here at the photograph, can you see these little, like, little spikes? which is the dark red on top of the, um, the, the orangey bits. Again, we're trying, it won't, it won't be as, as beautifully patterned as that, but what we'll do is, we're just by using the tip of the brush with paint on, we're going to just put little spike, spiky bits on to just sort of dab brown like that. Just working your way around. A bit more water, I think, just so it comes off the brush a little easier. Going up round, and then again round here. Um, as it comes round, it gets little pop. So it's again, it's not exactly as the uh, as the real flower, but it gives the effect, and that's the important thing. Um, we try and keep the layers even, as it were. And as we come around here, the angles change slightly. It's going to be going up that way. You can see the way I'm going around a bit more up in that direction. And then as I come around here, we just gradually build up. And then here, because of the angle they're being seen at, the ones over here, you can almost just see the tops of them running. So you can just really quick, quick, quickly work around. Again, if you're more patient than I am, you can um, look at the original photograph. Don't forget, you can go back and stop the, uh, the filming and you can see for yourself how things are. And again here, we're just going to gradually come round. And bearing in mind that we will be putting some dark colouring into this as well shortly. Um, we need to work as quick as we can because again, as ever, time seems to whiz past. Um, I put some of the little bits of dab of colouring into there. Again, coming around here, um, there's a just change direction as it comes around. come around here now let's have a look make sure I get these coming in the right direction these are because they're coming straight towards you're just seeing dabs of, of uh, color so I'm working around bearing in mind that again there'll be um, darker coloring going in underneath this now again it's not going to be quite the same as the original this is a real flower but um, hopefully you're better um, Follow this and get, look, you see it looks good, that's the important thing. Um, looks matter. <laughs> Again here now, because they're coming towards you more, they're just sort of uh, shorter dabs of colour. Try and give some uh, pattern to the way they're going. Again, we'll be able to enhance this a bit more 
when we come to put the darker colouring in. Just got a few more moments before we have to stop. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to have three sessions this time. We're going to do this now. We'll have a, a little break while we then um, carry on and get this part finished and get the bee done. And then we'll just um, finish off. And we're going to have a couple of minutes before we have to stop for this session. Admittedly, we're not getting quite the same pattern as you can see in the original nat natural flower. But again, hopefully you'll get some feeling for it um, more once we get this part done. So then it might seem a bit odd, but that'll do for now. i wash my brush out and we're now going to... Um, again, I'm just watching the time over there, but another two or three minutes. Now I've picked up a mix already, got, got ready to go, which is say that's the uh, Burnt Umber Ultramarine Blue and I just put a little, a little bit of green in as well. And again here, just to start off with, I'm just going to dab in a little bit of colour in the centre there, a bit of dark. Here again, when you look at the original, you can see there's some dark there. And then, now this is where we're going to be tricky, but let's see how we get on with this. Um, I'm going to dab the colour around in between as it gets darker but here as we come round here we can do less of this let the colour show up more the, the, the orangey colour show up but again we're round here where the bee is it's a bit darker still because in fact when you come down here you've got more dark than, than the reds showing up and again it's, it's quite dark underneath here so any moment now we're going to have to say stop what I will do then is I'll just finish off um, we can finish off uh, doing this and then we can have a go at doing the bee to finish off this painting. But again, hopefully you just see how it's just beginning to come on. We can always dab some kind of more colour up over of the reds over the top afterwards. We're just getting a feeling of the lines of the uh, little stamen type things are there. So, um, Right, let's, let's keep going round, shall we? For now, we're going to get less noticeable here. We can come up like that. But again, as we come round here, we're going to get stronger. And now we're going to have to say finish for now. So, see you. See you again shortly.